Numbers 1 through 3, you're supposed to simplify and identify any values where the expression is undefined. So in order to simplify, we're going to have to try and factor first and cancel stuff out. In the numerator, I have a GCF of 4, so that's x minus 2. There's a GCF of x in the denominator, x minus 2. They cancel, you're left with 4x. Now, I do have to identify where it's undefined. And remember, that's when the original factor denominator is 0. So when x equals 0 and when x minus 2 equals 0. If you solve for x on each of these, this was already 0 and that was 2, so x cannot equal 0 or 2. So you have two answers for each of these problems. Uh, number 2. We have, once again, a GCF in the numerator, so that's 4 times 2x minus 1 over, I have a case 2 trinomial here. And this is typically what students struggle with the most when factoring. The first thing that you should do is multiply these two terms together. So that gives me a negative 10x squared. Looking at the factors, 1, 10, 2, 5. I want to try and get to a positive 9 using same signs. So that would have to be uh, minus 1 and plus 10. So because this is a case 2, I now have to rewrite it as four terms. 2x squared, replacing the middle term with the terms I decided to use. So minus 1x plus 10x minus 5. We factor by grouping, which is where you pull out a GCF. I get 2x minus 1 times x plus 5. The 2x minus 1's cancel. I'm left with 4 over x minus 5. Now that's one of my answers. The next thing I have to do is say when it's undefined, which is where I set each of the original factored denominators equal to 0. So I'm going to take 2x minus 1 and set it equal to 0 and x minus 5 equal to 0. This one's easy because it's just the opposite sign. x cannot equal a positive 5. See how we would have to add 5 to each side? Um, this one, let me do that real quick. This one's a little bit more complex. So we're going to have to add 1 to each side first, and then we're going to have to divide by 2. So x cannot equal 1 half either. Number three, the numerator is a difference of two squares, so x plus 6, x minus 6. The denominator is a case 1 trinomial, which means I can list out the factors, 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, and 4 and 9. I almost forgot. How silly. Uh, 6 and 6. Now, I need to see, okay, well, using same signs, what can get me to that negative 12? That would be negative 6, negative 6. Meaning, the factored form is x minus 6, x minus 6. I only have one x minus 6 in the numerator to cancel it out with. So I can only cancel out one of them, which means I'm left with x plus 6 over x minus 6. You can't cancel out these because they are not exactly the same. And some students had an idea to pull out a negative 1. But if you were to pull out a negative 1 of this expression, it would be a negative x minus 6. So you still wouldn't be able to cancel because then the x's wouldn't match. So that does not simplify any further. Number four was kind of a trick question. Um, you're supposed to factor and see if stuff simplifies by crossing stuff out. So when I multiply across the top, across the bottom, none of these factor any further and nothing cancels. So that's just your answer. Number five. This is a subtraction problem where they already have a common denominator. They already have it. So all I have to do is x minus 5 minus the 3x minus 5. 
I put this on here though because a lot of students make sign mistakes here and I went through and looked and some of you who already submitted your work did in fact have sign mistakes. I'm subtracting the 3x, I'm subtracting the 5. So this becomes x minus 5 minus 3x plus 5. Then you'd have to combine your like terms. So x minus 3x is negative 2x, and then minus 5 plus 5 cancel. I can't cancel out the x's because I have addition in the denominator, so that's just going to have to be my final answer. Number 6 is a keep change flip problem, so we need to keep the first term. Change from division to multiplication and flip the second. Uh, the only one that can really factor any further is this one. It's a difference of two squares. Okay, so the x plus 3 is cancel, and I am left with 2x minus 5 over x minus 3, 3x minus 1. Number 7, we have a multiplication problem. Always check to see if you could pull out a GCF first. So that's what I did when I looked here, and there is no GCF that I can pull out here. So I'm just going to have to do the case 2 trinomial. I'm going to multiply the 4 and 25 together, which is 100. So 1 and 100, 2 and 50, 4 and 25, 5 and 20, 10 and 10. Okay. Using same signs, I want to get to a negative 20. So negative 10, negative 10 could get me there. Uh, oops, I'm going to put 4x squared. I thought that looked weird. So 4x squared, I'm rewriting the middle term as negative 10x, negative 10x, plus 25. Factor by grouping. The GCF here will be 2x, which would leave me with 2x minus 5. Now here, I do see that there's a GCF of 5. But not only that, I want it to look exactly the same, so I'm going to have to pull out a negative 5. Because negative 10 divided by a negative 5 will give me that positive 2x. Positive 25 divided by a negative 5 will give me that minus 5. So 2x minus 5, 2x minus 5. Okay, so now I'm going to take that and replace the numerator. So I'm just going to write an arrow over here. I have 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5. Over the denominator, there was a GCF of x. And then the denominator of this, or excuse me, the numerator of the second term is 3. And the denominator does not factor. Cancel stuff out. I end up with 3 times 2x minus 5 all over x. Before I move on to the next page, um, I realized when I was about to switch it over, I never said when it was undefined for number 3. So it is undefined when I set each equal to 0. When I set x minus 6 equal to 0 and x minus 6 equal to 0, we're going to end up with 6 both times. You don't have to write it twice. All you have to say is x cannot equal 6. Also, another small thing. Number 2, I have no idea why I did this, but um, I had it right here. However, when I rewrote it, I put x minus 5 instead of x plus. So it should be x plus 5, which means that x cannot equal a negative 5. Sorry about that, I was just going too fast because I want to get this all done. Uh, let's look at the next page. Number eight is a subtraction problem. So I need to uh, take a look at the denominators here. This can be factored as x minus 4, x plus 4 because it was a difference of two squares. Least common denominator is where we multiply similarities by differences. So x minus 4, x plus 4. Then we multiply each term by a ratio equivalent to 1, 
if necessary. So the first term already had both were good. Second term is missing the x plus 4s. So it's all over the common denominator. In the numerator, I have 2x plus 8 minus 3 times x plus 4. And we just got to clean that up. So we need to distribute that negative 3 to both. That gives me 2x plus 8 minus 3x minus 12 over the common denominator. And combine like terms, I have, let's see, 2x minus 3x is negative x. And then 8 minus 12 is a negative 4. Okay, when I take a look at the numerator here, this is an example where I could pull out a negative 1 because if I do that, I can change both of the signs to make it x plus 4. Which can cancel. And that means I still have the x minus 4 in the numerator in the or excuse me, in the denominator. In the numerator, I need to put a negative 1. Number 9 is a division problem. So remember, that's keep, change, flip. So keep the first term, change from division to multiplication, flip the second. And we factor. So this is a case one. Factors of five are one and five. I have to use different signs to get a negative four. So that's x plus one, x minus five. Here I have factors of one and two. I want to get a negative three, so it's minus minus. The numerator of the second is a difference of two squares, so that's x plus two, x minus two. And then the denominator of this new second term is a case 1, so 1 and 10, 2 and 5. Using different signs, I want a negative 3, so x plus 2, x minus 5. Cancel some stuff out. I'm left with x plus 1, x minus 1. All right, last question, number 10. Solve and check your solution. Just because it's an equation doesn't mean that we're changing how we think about this. So I'm going to try and simplify the left side, which means I'm going to factor the numerator. The factors of 28 are 1 and 28, 2 and 14, uh, 4 and 7. And then we need to think about what could give us a positive 3 using different signs, so plus, minus, that's x minus 4, x plus 7, over x plus 7. All right, the x plus 7, so hopefully you see cancel, and I'm left with x minus 4 equals negative 11. Add 4 to each side. That gives me a negative 7. Now, it does say we need to check our solution because sometimes they can be what's called extraneous. The way that we check it is we just see if it's undefined at that value. Remember, if it's undefined, we look at the original factor denominator. So when does this equal 0? So x plus 7 equals 0. Well, that would be at negative 7. So I know x cannot equal negative 7. But that's what we got. So that's extraneous. We just ruled out our only possible solution. So that means there is no solution to number 10. 